Hello crafty friends, it is a new year and so I treated myself to a new planner. This is a personal sized Filofax as opposed to what I had previously which was, it's not even going to fit in the screen, <laughs> so I had this Kiki K um, A5 planner which I loved but it was really big to kind of carry around. And I found that kind of towards the end of the year, even pages that I had decorated, I didn't even get around to using it because it was too big to kind of carry around and have with me. So I decided to switch it up this year. And instead of using a A5 size, to try this smaller personal size. So it's previously kind of put me off a little bit because it's so small I felt like there wouldn't be enough space to write everything that I needed in there but I think I found a way to get around that and I will show you so this is exactly how it comes new it comes with and how cute is this this marble pattern I love it one thing I have thought of is with it having so much white and it being small so I do intend to keep this kind of more in my handbag is it going to get really dirty Time will tell. <laughs> so it comes like this. We have a pen loop. It is a button closure. I'm going to take off this packaging. Beep. So we've got these card inserts. We've got six card inserts here and also a pocket. And then at the very back, we have a larger insert and that is not a pocket. So we just got a larger insert at the back and I think I already mentioned we have this pen loop which is a little bit difficult to see with the black on black. So it's black on the inside, the hardware is silver which I think looks really nice with the marble. And then I'll take this off. It does come with a whole bunch of inserts so you could just buy this and be good to go. But one of the things that I really like about planners is that you're able to customise them however you want, which I think is wonderful. So there's this piece here, which is just kind of a clear protective, almost like a dashboard leaf, which I think these are really useful to have. I will probably end up creating or um, either creating a new one or decorating this. But if I create a new one, I will keep this one at the back because I think it's really useful to have a flat piece at the back to help you kind of just flip everything over without it all getting caught. Hopefully that makes sense. So we also have six dividers. These are cream. I will definitely be decorating or replacing these. Um, they're kind of fine as they are, but I think the mixture of the cream with the white isn't quite what I'm going for so I think I'm going to cut some new ones they're just numbered on both sides one through six and then we have some kind of samples of the inserts that you can buy from Filofax so this one is a to-do list there's a couple sheets of that then we have some white lined paper there's quite a lot of that included we've got some grid paper I really like the grid paper. It's more kind of almost bullet journaly. Then we have plain, and then we get into the colored line paper. So there is blue, green, and pink. And then we have some contact inserts, for contact information. I personally don't use those in my planner. I don't kind of carry around people's information in case I lose this. Um, but I may fill them in and kind of keep them at home. And then we have a 2019 week on two pages diary, which that is my preferred, or one of my preferred, you'll see when I get into kind of building this up. So it comes with a calendar for this year, 2019, last year and next year. We've got your personal information, which again, tend not to fill that in. I don't really want my information to be left lying around. Then we have some national information. I will probably end up taking all of this out just to kind of streamline everything. Then we have the personal organizer registration. I think this is great so you can protect yourself from losing your organizer by registering it. And then you 
leave this little insert in there and if anybody finds your planner they can actually claim a reward for returning it so you put in your code here and they can go onto the website and find how to contact you and return your planner to you which i think is wonderful um, that works if you're in the uk or the usa then we've got some more kind of personal information some holiday symbols and finally we get to the planner so the weekly, let's see what we've got at the back. So we've got a couple notes pages and just a reminder that it's time for a new diary. And a reminder also that you have the personal size should you be forgetting that for any reason. <laughs> so we have the actual planner here. It is a week across two pages. It's on white paper. It's kind of slightly off-white I think. I think it's more kind of creamy, more of a creamy white. The text is in black and blue and you have a little um, monthly overview just here just to remind you kind of what week you're in of the month and the dates for the month which I think is really handy to have. So it's not too bulky that week across two pages. You can definitely take all of this out if you would rather and customize it completely there are a ton of places particularly on etsy where you can buy either pre-printed or printable inserts for your planner you can find them for everything you can find like weight trackers goal tracking social media tracking uh, pregnancy planners pretty much anything that you can think of somebody has created on etsy which is wonderful then we've got this filofax ruler you can actually just pull this out which I think is great so it's really easy to move around your planner and you can actually use it because it sticks out slightly above and below your pages you can use it as kind of a page marker for where you are in the week which is probably what I'll end up using it for as well as obviously just drawing in straight lines then we have this little pocket at the back this is a top opening pocket they also sell on the filofax website um, or in some of the stationery stores i picked all of this up at ryman's they have like a zipper version as well and there's a couple other things so i'm gonna go through the inserts that i purchased i will be using the week across two pages insert and then i picked up some additional inserts so the first thing that I have is this year planner. This is kind of a pull-out piece that I'll keep at the front. Sorry for the noise. When I was looking at these in the shop, I was like, why is it not hole punched? And then I realized, obviously, this is an insert. So we've got, this is the horizontal. Oh, a lie. This is the vertical. And it pulls out. It's actually really big when it pulls out. I'm making a lot of noise here so it kind of has half of the year on this side and the other half on this side and I'll use this to track things like um, birthdays when it's my brother's birthday on the 1st of January so I'll fill in birthday information maybe dates that I'm going on holiday or maybe I'll fill in these little check boxes here which show the moon cycle um, Maybe I'll show in here with like a thin piece of washi tape when I'm away from home. And it's just a nice way to have that quick kind of yearly overview. So I'll be putting this in and keeping that at the front of my planner. Then I have my to-do list paper. I got some more of this because I love a list. I love that it has these little check boxes so you can go ahead and tick everything off. And I will probably keep this entire stack in my planner at any one time just because I love to be able to kind of list everything out that I need to do and check it off. I got some additional white ruled paper just so I've got some extra note paper for jotting down video ideas or something that I need to remember. I just need a scrap of paper. I think it's useful to have extra paper in your planner. I also picked up this pink version. I made a bit of a mistake with this. I thought for some reason that it was actually this color here, which makes a lot of sense. You would kind of think that it would be the color that's shown across the front, um, but it is actually a much brighter pink and had I have turned it over, I would have realized that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this, maybe more so in the, in the spring. I might switch out the paper for the pink. 
I also got a business card holder. It holds six business cards and I will most likely be using this for extra little bits to decorate my planner on the go. I think they're really useful to have and I'll show you the types of things that I'll be putting in there. So the last thing that I picked up, you might think I'm a little bit crazy, but I went ahead and picked up a day on a page version of the yearly planner. Um, that might seem a little bonkers to have both the weekly and the daily version, but I like to be able to use the weekly version to track more of like milestones and the daily version to track kind of the tasks that I need to achieve to make sure I meet those milestones. Hopefully that makes sense to you, but as I say, the joy of personal planners or planners in general, this happens to be the personal size, is that you can customise them however you like and make them work for you. And if these particular inserts from Filofax are not exactly what you're after and you're looking for something else, as I say, head over to Etsy. There are a ton of people who sell wonderful um, inserts, different kind of every category that you can pretty much think of. Or you could go ahead and fire up your computer, just make sure you measure the page size and um, kind of work in Excel I think works really well because you've got kind of the boxes and you can either add the lines or take them away and you can create your own inserts if that's something that you would like to do. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through how I plan to set this up. I'm going to pull everything out. I'll probably switch to a voiceover mode and let's see where we get to. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done my first basic setup. This is kind of how thick everything is and I'll take you through what is inside. This will definitely change throughout the year as I kind of bulk it out and get going with things. For now, I've got a few placeholders. I've added just some of my clips here just so I've got something fun to look at when I open it up. I have kept this plastic sheet. It had a sticky label on it here earlier. I've kept that just to try and protect this piece so it doesn't get scratched. I went ahead and created a dashboard from my holographic paper and I also created my file tabs from that same holographic paper and then I decorated using clips and washi tape and some cut aparts. So I've got this dashboard at the front, then I have my yearly planner. I've not done too much to this apart from add some washi tape at the top and the bottom and just mark out along these days here when I'm going to be in Phoenix. I will go ahead and add all my relevant kind of birthdays and travel dates in here as the year progresses. But that will stay somewhat kind of blank and not necessarily too decorated. I find if I get too bogged down with the decoration elements, um, it kind of takes away some of the joy. I love seeing everything when it's decorated, but I like to be able to just have a functional planner as well. So we've got this first tab here, save the drama for your llama. <laughs> I just think this is really cute. And I've got this first ruler here. This is the one that came with the planner. You can just pull it out and push it back in and I'll use that to mark the week that I am on. So this is currently this week. Yesterday I had to upload a wreath video, which I did. I had some shopping to do and I had a hair appointment. Today I am it is the fourth today. I am uploading a heffy doodle video. I am filming this planner video and I had to wash some of the dog's bedding. Tomorrow I have got some stuff in mind but I haven't filled this in yet. And then on Sunday I am seeing my friends. So I'll go ahead and decorate these just minimalistically like I have here. A little bit of washi tape and some stickers and just kind of keep it functional. So I've kept a few pages in here. This little guy marks out when I'm going to Phoenix. So I uh, leave on the 16th and I will arrive on the 17th, still the 16th. I don't know, I get confused with time zones. I'll fill in all of my dates here and I will be online on social media live a lot from the event. So if you're interested in seeing what's going on, make sure you follow me across the different platforms. I'm gonna try not to overwhelm any particular platform with too many videos or too many live feeds, so you can check them all out. 
and I have just kept in until the end of April in my weekly section. Then I have another divider. This one has a Ride a Unicorn, Swim with Mermaids, Chase a Rainbow and do one day at a time and then just some cute little icons and some glittery washi tape. This is where I'm going to add more of my um, kind of things that I need to do each day to achieve my kind of broader goals that are in this section. So it's quite empty at the moment. This will be filled out a lot and I'm going to use this combined for things to do with the blog. So things that I need to kind of do my voiceover, upload, create a thumbnail, post, share on Instagram. I'll keep all of that information in there and I'll also add things that I need to do for just general life as well. So kind of, you know, tidying up, washing, all that, all that fun <laughs> that we have to do. And I'm using this ruler here just to mark where I am on the days of the week. For this one, because obviously there is one day uh, or one page per day apart from the weekends, I haven't kept in as much so I've just kept until the end of February. So we've got the end of February and March 1st. Then we have this little one. This is uh, Whistle While You Work, a Mermaid, some sunglasses, Hustle, some pineapples and just some cute little spots there just to add a bit of decoration. And this is where I'll keep my stats. So I'm going to keep YouTube kind of at the end of the month. How many views have I had for, um, for the month? How many subscribers did I get for the month? Or, so if you're not subscribed and you want this to go up, you can go ahead and tap the subscribe button and that will make me very happy, hopefully, to see this number increasing. And I am going to write down here kind of an end goal for where I want to be at the end of the year. And then I have my other social media, so Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. They're the ones that I use the most. Pinterest, I'm terrible for avoiding. I need to try and use that a little bit more. Um, and again, I've just got the months of the year and I'll kind of write on there kind of how many followers I've got across each of those platforms. And then I have a few blank pages in here. I've actually just got two blank pages in case I want to create any more of those types of trackers. Then I have my to-do list section. So I have my magical get stuff done list and this little unicorn down here. This I'm going to use, actually, I think if I don't use this for kind of a formal to-do list, because I think that's going to kind of fall into this section here, into my days of the week, um, I might use this more for kind of um, longer term. So video ideas that I want to film, things that I want to do around the house, um, potentially get a new kitchen that might need to be on there but kind of more longer term um, items that I can tick off as I add them into my schedule. Then we have rain brings blossoms and let love grow and just this really cute little um, strawberry washi tape and this is where I've got the notes section again just a handful of pages in here because I like to keep this kind of really light so it's portable. And my final divider has keep on the sunny side, stay magical and listen to your heart. And behind that I have this credit card holder with some of my little stickers for decorating. I've got some of those in the front and the back. Then I have this open top pocket that has some more stickers. And I think I might actually get one of those little side ones with the zip. I think that might be really useful. And then this is just the sheet that was at the front of my Filofax previously. I just really like the marble. And I think I'm actually going to glue these two back to back. So there's a little bit more stability for this piece here, which hopefully if I ever lose my Filofax, I'll be able to find it. And then I have another dashboard. So this I think is useful to have at the back for kind of when you're using your planner and you're going through it and then you kind of try and close it up. It will close okay at the front here, but then at the back, things will kind of curl around the rings. So if you've got that piece, you can just kind of pull everything forwards and it will close up nicely. I've got my little YouTube pen in the pen loop. And then I have a couple more stickers in the back here, just in this pocket. So those stickers, I think, are the ones that I'm actually going to move into my zip folder if I get it. And I'm going to try and look for a little notepad in here, 
maybe to add some post-its for on the go. I love using post-its in my planner so I can kind of move them around and change things. Um, or I may add a small notepad. So that is it. That is my setup for 2019. Hopefully to try and keep me organized with my little portable planner. This is the personal size and it is a Filofax planner. And when I picked this up, they had a 20% off deal. So do check that out. You may be able to get 20% off. I'm not sure when that deal is running to. I got mine from Ryman's and I'll include links where possible. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it inspiring. I'm hoping it's gonna help me get my 2019 organized and on track and hopefully it will do the same for you. On screen right now, there are a couple more videos that I think you might enjoy and you can go ahead and tap on my logo at the top of the screen to subscribe to my channel. That's all for me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.